Alrighty, new version here with sound. It looks like a bug yeah. trapped under a glass. I googled that bug. It's some sort of demonic cricket that takes chunks out of your skin when provoked. Chunks is the word that Google used. Okay. It that takes chunks out of your skin when provoked. Chunks is the word that Google used. Okay, cool. I like it. Definitely better. I think there are a few errors that I would tweak. There's something... Let's start with her. It. When she says all this with that look, I think we can push that contrast a bit more where... I know it's it's very up close, so it gets a bit subjective, and maybe you can you can try a version to see you know what you prefer, but I'm wondering if... You can bring her almost lower. Just just humor me. What if her eyes are here? Shoulders are up. She's really checking. Big darts looking around. Like imagine she's really examining this, being really up close. And then she goes up into this. Okay. So after all of this, checking around, goes into that pose. Shoulders drop a bit. Head goes up. Trapped under a glass. Because right now, if you look at it, if I'm roughly drawing this out, onion skinning, hold on, my previous drawings are there, so it's again, even worse. I should do this on my walk home, but I'm doing this on the screen. You can see how she's pretty much in that same box. And given that this is a, you know, kind of a change in terms of emotion, headspace, you know, she's looking at things and this is her realization of this is really nothing that bad. I think this could be two things. Then again, could also not in terms of she doesn't care from the very beginning. That's just kind of like the last conclusion versus if you're getting her close, you know, eyes are here, she's checking. Maybe that makes her care too much. That's totally up to you. But that could be one area where you could push contrast. Above, yeah. Trapped under a glass. I googled that. Rest is fine. I love that you turn around so that we're really just focusing on her, on him. Then Out of your skin. you're mentioning here in your email that frame 200, that's this guy. If this is too big. Out of your skin. And to me, yes, objectively, I feel like I'm concentrating on him. Out of your skin. And then, whoa, now I'm looking at her. It's such a big move. Chunks. And I wonder if we can just keep her here. And he does the chunks towards her. And imagine it's this pose slightly tweaked so that it's she's here and then leans back. You know what I mean? And then could be a bit profile that you can see just you know a profile view of her. And he does it towards her, right? That, but imagine her being profile. I think that could work. Because that way it would be that distracting. Because it doesn't really add anything, to be honest. She just demands sudden attention but then doesn't do anything until this happens. So you could easily just keep her here. He does it towards her and then she just moves back like that. Like I said, in a more profile pose. I mean, that's mostly what I have for her. It looks like a bug. Yeah. Now, it looks like it. right when she goes it, it's really timed here in sync where it. I know she's saying it, but he could easily also say it. I know he doesn't, and I know the voice is hers, but he just moves exactly when she talks. It looks like a bug. And I'm wondering. It I'm not sure you want to completely eliminate this. Looks like I definitely look this. I love this here that he nods. And I'm just wondering if you actually do we need this. It look you can just easily, easily just delay it, and he does it after it. Looks like. And then it kind of flows into a turn knot. That's why I'm, I'm wondering if we can cut it out, because I don't think... Looks like a bug. We want to change when the knot happens. It looks like a bug yeah. trapped under a glass. Or, or, you stay like this, right? And he has lots of nervous eye darts. It looks like a bug. And after it, he does the head turn. No nod. Above. Yeah. He says, yeah, and then Back nods. Because right now you got nothing. So imagine he goes, yeah, and then nods. Glass. I... That could be another version. Then see how his eyes are darting and he's he's 
I mean, I'm exaggerating. He was him going back and forth, but I like that he's very... Imagine it's like this. He's really checking. He just can't wait for her to say something. I would have that kind of thing right here. Because right now, I buy it that he looks at her. And then here, suddenly, he's faced out looking past her. I would keep that eye line lower. And then when she turns, goes up and turns, eye darts, eye darts, follow, follow, follow. He just needs to know what she thinks. And he is not reacting whatsoever. And after that, to me, feels like he's looking past her. That bug, it's some sort of Gets a bit better here. Demonic cricket that takes chunks out of your skin when provoked. Chunks is... And the rest is fine. I like all this. And if you change the, the profile thing, then it will fix little moments like... I mean, super picky, but you got a tangent right there. And maybe bringing out the fingers to here. Maybe a bit lower. It looks like a bug yeah. trapped under a glass. I googled that bug. It's a... It looks like a bug yeah. trapped under a glass. I googled that bug. It's some sort of demonic cricket that takes chunks out of your skin when provoked. Lip sync seems fine. I wonder if this is too busy here. Chunks out of your skin when provoked. Chunk. When provoked, that this guy here the jaw down and this this might be a bit too chattery and poppy chunks is the word that google used chunk and the chunks might be bigger in terms of jaw just because it's kind of hidden during that forward move so you might want to exaggerate it so we can read it chunks is the word that google used chunks is the word that Chunks is the word that Google used. Something about Google here. I think this might be a bit too broad too once you spline this. When he goes from open to close like that. Like that's a big change into open and back into a close. Is the word that Google used. It might be a bit too much. You might have to simplify it there. But that's mainly that. Yeah, definitely like the update. As always, all the notes are subjective and pick and choose whatever you need. And that is that. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.